let's take a closer look at some of the key features of Scan to PC Desktop Professional 10. One of the key features is the PSP user interface. PSP stands for Personalized Scanning Platform. And the reason why we have the ability to create the PSP user interface and make it appear at the Xerox device is because of the EIP technology that's included within Xerox devices. Um, it's included within uh, the latest generation of Xerox Office multifunction devices. So what that means is that each individual user in your office will be able to create their own personalized user interface that they will see when they walk up to the Xerox device and they want to scan. So at this point, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take a deeper dive and show you um, and actually talk through um, each of the categories that you can personalize on the PSP user interface. So the first category that we're going to look at are is the list of paper port folders. Now, what this gives everyone in your office the ability to do is to be able to select at the time of scan, exactly which folder on their desktop PC they want their scan image delivered into. Uh, the next item that we're going to focus on is the ability to set up what are called omni-page workflows. Now, built into scan to pc Desktop Professional, we give you the ability, right at the Xerox device, to scan directly to Word or scan directly to Excel. I mean, that alone is huge. Think about how much easier that makes the scanning process. If I have a hard copy document that I want to make some changes to, I can start with that hard copy document, walk over to the Xerox device, load it into the document feeder, select from the user interface that I want to convert to Word, press the green button, and that's it. By the time I get back to my desktop PC, I have a fully editable Microsoft Word version of my document so I can go in right away and start making changes to that document. And again, one of the key um, advantages of Scan to PC Desktop Professional, and I'll be able to show you this in a few moments, is our very high accuracy level. You'll see that um, not only will the document be very accurately, um, well, it will um, be very accurately converted because it will look very much like the original document, but also every word within the document will be very accurately recognized. OmniPage is rated at about 99% accuracy. Um, we also allow you not just the ability to scan to editable uh, file formats, we also give you the ability to scan directly to a fillable PDF form, which I'll show you a little bit later on. Uh, we even give you the ability to scan to a WAV audio file. And again, I'll demonstrate that for you a little bit later on. So you can actually listen to your documents being read back to you. Uh, we also give you the ability to convert to a text searchable PDF file. So um, that is the ideal file format for documents that you want to archive. We also allow you to collect filled in data from forms, as well as scan and redact or black out sensitive text. We also allow you to do the opposite of that. We also allow you to highlight in yellow keywords within a document, as well as scan directly to Microsoft SharePoint. These are the OmniPage workflows that we include built into Scan to PC Desktop Professional, but you can also create your own OmniPage workflows as well. Now the third category of items that you can personalize, uh, you can personalize your paper port profiles. Now paper port profiles allow you to actually do some image cleanup with your document at the time of scan. So with paper port scanning profiles, you can, um, like I said, do some image cleanup. So you can have the document automatically straightened by the time it gets back to your desktop PC or automatically enhanced or, um, or improved. You can also have Scan to PC Desktop Professional automatically delete blank pages from a scan document. We also give you the ability to do some batch scanning. At this point, I'm actually going to minimize my slides and share out my desktop PC and show you how easy it is to actually choose which options that you want to see when you walk up to the Xerox device and you want to scan. Okay, so here I am at my desktop PC in my office. Now I want to emphasize that at this point, I am just an everyday user in your office. I'm not an IT, I'm not a network administrator, I'm just an everyday user. So again, as an end user from this point, what I can do is from my desktop PC, I can right click on my image retriever link, which is this little purple uh, link here down in my system tray in the lower right hand corner of my screen. And when I right click on, or when I double click on there, it actually makes the image retriever settings window appear. 
Now from the image retriever settings window, I can click on the personalized MFP scanning wizard. And this will actually walk me through a wizard that allows me to select which items that I want to have appear at the Xerox device. So again, I can simply just check or uncheck which folders I want to appear. You can see I get a little preview over here of what they look like. I can even control the order that they appear right at the Xerox device. Okay. Now this list could be um, local folders on my desktop PC. This list could also include shared folders that I have access to on the network. Um, or it could even include SharePoint folders. So once I'm happy with my list of paper port folders, I can click on the next button. And now I can check or uncheck which OmniPage workflows I want available at the Xerox device. Click on next. Now I can check or uncheck which paper port scanning profiles I want available. And then when I, excuse me, and then once I'm happy with my selections, I can click on the finish button. And the settings that I selected from my desktop PC will be pushed out to the server that contains the paper port PSP software. And then once I walk up to my Xerox device and identify myself, the settings that I selected from my desktop PC will now pop right up at the Xerox device's user interface. So again, Scan to PC Desktop Professional works with or without network authentication. All right.